Hi everybody, it's Mike again, and I'm doing a follow-up to the piece I did a couple days ago on high-frequency blowout. I had some great comments from Barbara, Kelly, und auch von Beata in Deutschland. Vielen Dank, es war ausgezeichnet. Anyway, back to English. Um, if you will imagine your my finger as the needle, it's going to produce the full amount of power that you select on your machine. So, as both Kelly and Barbara pointed out, when you have the needle inserted in the follicle, you'll produce an appropriate amount of coagulation. However, if you deploy the current, say at this level in the follicle, all of the current will be magnified on that one spot. And this is where you can get some blowout as well, which will look like a little bit of steam boiling off, which is probably just water. So what they recommend is that you be very careful that when you insert the needle, be sure to be at the bottom of the follicle uh, be careful when you're withdrawing the needle that you don't accidentally uh, turn the current on. Uh, and when you're inserting, be sure that you don't have the current on. Uh, this is especially true if you're using the automatic on-off. You want to make sure that you get your rhythm correct and that the thing doesn't go off when you're inserting. This is also something that I've noticed with manual thermolysis, which is what I use. If I'm in the follicle with the current on, and if I withdraw the needle, with the current on, if I happen to be at this point, uh, I can cause an overtreatment. So we we're always taught that once you're in the follicle, coagulate the follicle, turn off the high frequency, and then remove the needle. Anyway, high frequency is a very interesting uh, current. Uh, also, for example, if you're using a insulated needle, you can probably turn your high frequency down because it's more concentrated at the tip. I've got an experiment to show you uh, that will give you a little idea about relative size of needles and high frequency power. So stay tuned. Here it comes. Okay, this is not an experiment. It's just a little kind of a demonstration. Imagine that that is your high frequency and you've dialed it in with your machine. Okay, so now we take a small pan, which is like a small needle, and we put that on the high frequency. And now this will be like your big needle, big pan. Put that on the high frequency. And the question is, which pan is going to heat up faster? The big one or the small one? Of course, the small needle is going to heat up faster. And the big pan is like your big needle. So that's just a very simple demonstration of what's going on. Okay, thanks for watching. Auf Wiedersehen, bis später.